Welcome to the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio mobile app. The following demonstration is for the iPhone. At the top of the main screen is the microphone shaped Add Edit Voice Track button. Pressing the microphone button opens a pop up at the bottom of the screen with Add Voice Track, Edit, and Cancel. Selecting Add Voice Track creates a green, empty voice track at the bottom of the screen. By pressing and holding the Move Insert icon on the right-hand side of the voice track, you can drag it into the desired position in the stack widget. If you change your mind, there's a green X at the top of the screen, where the microphone button was, that lets you abort the process. To edit and record voice tracks in the app, press the voice track shaped button at the top of the screen. Select the Edit option. Any voice tracks visible in the stack widget will highlight and will have a green microphone shaped button in the left hand column. Pressing this green microphone shaped button will spawn the selected voice track into the voice track widget. At the top of the voice track widget, a drop down menu displays the current input selected and allows you to change the input to the voice tracker. Recording voice tracks in the voice track widget is pretty simple. You're going to use the green button with a white microphone on it. The process is basically a four button push. Press the green microphone button to start the session and play the last 10 seconds of the pre cut. Press a second time to start recording your voice track. A third time to start the post cut. And a fourth time to finish. Please note that if you don't press the button a second time to manually start the recording of your voice track, when the pre-cut reaches the EOM, the recording will start automatically. If at any point during the process you need to start again, press the stop button and start the session over. When you've finished, you can listen back to your session by pressing the preview button. Below the preview is the All button. Use this button before you start your session if you want to listen to and record over the entire pre-cut. For example, if your voice track is a traffic or weather report that plays over a bed, press the All button so that the bed scheduled in the pre-cut position starts at the beginning and plays under your entire voice track. When you finish your voice track, you can select the Save option at the top right of the screen, which will complete the session, exit the voice track widget, and return to the stack widget. Of course, if you'd rather continue recording the voice tracks for the remainder of your shift, you don't have to press Save every time. You can press the Next button, which will save the current voice track, and load the next one in line from the playlist. Typically, you'll next through each voice track for the air shift you're working on and only select Save when you're done recording for the entire shift. If you're tracking away and you decide you really didn't like how that last voice track sounded after all, use the Previous button to take you to the track before and you can preview and even start over and re record the voice track session. There are three options at the top of the screen. Cancel returns you to the main screen without saving. Reset opens a pop-up warning that current progress will be lost and asks for confirmation. Pressing Reset again reverts the session back to the beginning, but stays in the voice track widget in the current session. Following a successful save, a temporary green banner will appear at the bottom of the app, which will read Successfully Saved and will include the category and cart number. In the stack widget, the formerly red voice track will now be white to verify it was saved. We hope you enjoyed this overview of the voice track widget on the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio mobile app for the iPhone.
If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please email us at afrvideos at wideorbit.com.